it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for August 2024. So on August 5th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, going retrograde at four degrees in his rulership in Virgo energy. So first of all, if you haven't downloaded your Leo season e-guide, I'm going to recommend you do that just so you can capture where your headspace is at, where some topics and themes of conversation, of reanalyzation are concerned. Capture that on paper. We're going to have to revisit that in approximately three and a half weeks, maybe even a month from now. We are also going to want to reflect back on that because we're about to have a major pivot of the heart space and therefore major pivot of the head space. And it's really, really recommended that you jot down what is going on in your life, especially around the time that Mercury stations, which is right now. So if you need to take a listen to August's energy forecast, the overview in order to understand where Mercury's making all of his moves throughout the month of August, I'm going to recommend you do that. And if you want to know where this is actually going to be taking place in your life, the area of life that it, this is going to impact the most, I'm going to recommend that you listen to your August Zodiac forecast, your sun, your moon, your rising. With all of that out of the way, we're in for a typical Mercury retrograde, which means that we have to come to a resting point. Our intellect is going to shut down. We're moving into the unconscious realm of things. We're allowing our heart space, our intuition to lead. We are going to have communication, technology glitches and breakdowns, of course. We are going to see some elements of the past return for a second go. This is a time of realignment, restructuring, rearranging, not only how it is that we're thinking, how we're seeing the world, how we're kind of formulating our thoughts, our opinions, our perspectives, but we're going to have to kind of challenge our actual physical realms. Now, with all of that typical Mercury retrograde stuff, first of all, Mercury retrograde is not something to fear. It is a time where we get to kind of pause and kind of catch up with what has been going on in our physical realms. Everybody kind of has this doom and gloom type of perspective where a retrograde is concerned. Definitely not the case. This is working in our favor. If you have Mercury natally retrograde in your chart, this is a jam-packed three weeks for major shifts, major moves to be made. And of course, for the majority of people that have Mercury direct in their chart, this is a time where we get to pause, step back, reevaluate, reanalyze again realign restructure rearrange especially this time around the virgo energy of course is an earth sign ruled over by mercury so that he's in his rulership here this is going to be a little bit more intense especially at the beginning of his retrograde until of course he shifts back into the leo energy at that time we're going to kind of consider how we're feeling about certain analyzations reevaluations certain perspectives and opinions that of course we're really going to have to wreck our brains about over the course of these next couple of weeks. So again, at the very first part, we're at four degrees in Virgo energy. He's going to stand still for a little minute. He's going to kind of evaluate where it is that he has to look back, address some areas of concern from the past. Now, again, we're going to have this Virgo energy take us into the 14th. At that particular point in time, he is going to creep back in that Leo energy. Again, listen to the overview in order to understand how this particular energy is going to shift. We are essentially taking a good look in this Virgo energy at this first part of this retrograde at our lives, our physical realms, at our routines, at our health and wellness, at where it is that guess what? We have to pick ourselves apart and break ourselves down in order to get real and raw and vulnerable with, with ourselves to see where it is that we could be doing better, where it is that we have room to improve, especially where bad habits are concerned, where we need to kick them to the curb because of course, our day-to-day -day routine, our day-to-day -day habits are either going to make or break our long-term success. And because our intellect is taking a backseat to our intuition, there's definitely going to be 
an illumination, if you will. We're operating from a higher level of awareness. We're operating from a higher level of consciousness. Of course, we're still very much in the new moon Leo window. Virgo energy is reigning supreme. Venus just shifted into this Virgo energy. So we have a lot going on, especially where we're thinking differently. We're kind of reviewing the actions that we've made, what landed us here, whether or not we would have kind of done the same thing, given a second chance to do so. This is a time of serious revision, serious editing in our plans, in our goals, in our situation, in our circumstances. So that Virgo energy is super analytical, highly critical, super judgmental, because this is the time of discernment. We have to pick things apart. We have to identify the problems in order to actually fix them. And so although this isn't the most ideal time to be making commitments and to beginning new projects and all of these new lovely initiations that of course we might want to do impulsively because we just had this new moon in leo pushing us into a new chapter of chasing our happiness and our heart space we're going to need to pause we're going to need to refine our current standing before we go ahead start adding to it and technically speaking, it's time to remove aspects out of our lives. We're in a releasing, a purging period, especially where Mercury's retrograde is a time to kind of realize where we have to refine, revise, restructure, realign before we can start building towards something new. So this could be a very triggering time, I would say, just because the Virgo energy really does enjoy perfection, enjoys the particular details of the inner workings of our mind, the, let's call it, communication styles of expressing our thoughts. And again, reminder, the Virgo energy is very matter of fact. Act. We're not really factoring in a lot of emotion with a lot of our realizations. Thus, why Mercury, when he slips back in the Leo energy, is going to help us get heart and head aligned. But for this first part of this retrograde, please, please, please just concentrate on analyzing where it is in your life, certain endings, certain closures, certain changes, certain adjustments, certain transformations could actually be the best thing for you in eliminating a lot of the things that we're no longer in alignment with that we're no longer pouring into again this isn't a high time of action but we have to get a grip in our mental plane first and foremost what needs our time energy and, and attention and what we could actually change and adjust to create a better situation a better circumstance in our physical lives so of course as we kind of have this jolt in our headspace, I am going to recommend that you listen to the Ascension forecast for this week to understand where the energy is going to be manifesting in our physical bodies. Where Mercury is concerned, this is the headspace. A lot of pressure there, a lot of confusion, a lot of dizziness, a lot of weird sensations popping off, especially around the days that, of course, Mercury comes to a standstill and then he pivots to look back. So there are a lot of resources out there. There's a ton of information out there in order for you to stay ahead of the game. And especially at this first part, this is when things are most disorienting. We will have a little bit of a ripple effect in the energy shift that will take place when we shift back into that Leo energy. But for the most part, we really have to just kind of move within ourselves, really take a good look at ourselves, at our lives, and where it is that there are rooms for improvement.